Uh, today we're going to be putting in a unit in PR 78. It's got the weather band. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, do first. In other words, a CB. First thing I'm going to do is see if I have power with no key, without a key. I'm going to take this, I'm going to find this metal plate that I know is back here. Hook it. Hook it to the, uh... This, I know this is the ground. Don't want to stick to that. The other, only other option I got for a ground would be the. There we go. And then I get this as magnetic base. So I'm gonna use a. A lot of times these these are all taped up, but they're. Ground's good. It's got constant power. I like that. Um, so I can be careful with that. A lot of nights I just let the radio run all the time just in case somebody needs me to back up. They get too close to me. I think it's good to have little communication with what little bit we can do with each other out here. Helps, makes it safe. Then I grab some of these wire nuts. I've never used wire nuts, but I've seen them. And I said, well, this probably this probably just as good. I'll just still piece, put a piece of tape on it since we know what since we know the hot side I'm gonna do the red you can always tell your your power cable because it'll it'll usually have a, a line in it like if it's got a if it's just an all black cable the the black will have a uh, either a white stripe on it or uh, in this case, it's just the red's going to be all red, all. Uh, I mean, the power's going to be all red, just like the truck was. I know what it was. Sometimes I've had trucks that had a yellow, a yellow and a green. The green meaning that it was ground, but you still want to check. Maybe their plug is hooked up for for something else. This side of the plug is different. If this plug was missing, then according to this, the power would be black and the ground would be striped. Yeah, that's totally different than what I've seen. So I just get a $6 test light because I don't want to put my radio in backwards. Yeah. Besides talking um to truckers with a cb needed also um when you're on the road just in case for um if traffic and stuff is backed up right yeah um well a lot of a lot of your big customers when you come in they tell you what channel to go you don't you can run this truck without a cb as many companies do this is just my personal preference because I don't, I don't, um, 
have to use my cell phone so much if I'm at a customer. Like say if they tell you go to channel 14. They're just going to tell you, you know, go to door 3. But they don't know the door until you get to your truck. But you get to your truck. And if it's one of the places you're not supposed to have cell phones, then they call you and you got to remember to put your cell phone away. Or some of them will collect it up. They don't want you to photo photo one inside. I'm not even going to check test this. Look, it's constant power. Dangerous too. Also, if you're taking the radio out, make sure that you put that cap back on there and tape that up because you could cause a fire back here in your truck. Okay, next thing we have, these goes to the radio frame. These are the nuts I was looking for. And... I hope I'm doing this the right way. Well, I guess it'll fit through that case with, with all this mounted on because that's how I got to do it. These radio shops, they can tell, they can tell by this bracket right here that I'm in a Cascadia uh, freight liner. Some, sometimes the radios will just velcro right to the dashboard and uh, then you have to run your wires just you don't have to you don't have to find a ground or nothing the ground block and the power block is on the dashboard but these these freight letters they come with the, the mount here so. you have a unit or a bear cat so unit in with the with the uh, LTW, I think that's the the weather alert. Oh, but I, I think I'm ready to do this. Well, I gotta. I I will be adding an external because when when you push this radio into the thing, if you have bad hearing. It's going to make it difficult to hear. So what I do with this, this here, the, this don't look good, I know. I'm going to zip tie this to the top, to the very top of this pocket. So for now, I'm going to be very careful not to rip it off the, the wall. But I would just find the panel speaker. Insert that. Um, grab my microphone. This microphone, was, I got a good price on it. It's uh, aesthetic. I'll show you the handle in a minute. It's got this little uh, U shape here. It goes at the bottom. Just put that on there. This uh, aesthetic mic is uh, it's a pretty good aftermarket. I, w I was having problems with the with mine. I think it the one that came with this. I never used it very very much. I still have it, but I always wanted the noise canceling. You get this arrow. Get the uh, hook up the back of my. I'm gonna be running my wire out the out the door because my mount goes goes out the side of the truck now. Just make sure that this don't turn.
like I'm not going to have room to run this cable like that. Well, let's try the factory one. I didn't know if I had it. Many companies won't let you drill any holes. I definitely will not. Because uh, they're going to see any little any little hole that's why this is going to be zip tied to the pocket and, and just want to uh, i see now why this this deal here i don't know how i'm supposed to get this slipped either look with those dog ears on there now i can't work let me see something I'm just seeing if I can pop this this pocket out. I don't know how to do that. Oh, I know. I know what I did wrong. Let's let's get this pocket off. This is a little star tool. you were asking about what I do with these radios I just think it's a lot safer like say if you are running up on an accident your GPS is never going to know of an accident your company's not going to send you an a, a, a notice that there's an accident unless it's been a standing one all day so the only defense would be Oh, okay, uh, and about six miles ahead, I appreciate that, driver, you know, and you try to do the ne same for the next guy. Um, it's whenever you don't have warnings like that, when it makes it uh, the surprise, you come around a curve, and you, you don't know that it's just one little car in the middle or, or, or nothing like that, they'll tell you, hey, yeah. Uh, I saw something in the middle. Just be careful. Watch yourself. Makes it makes it better for everybody. I guess this lays. I got this backwards. See what this is gonna do. It's gonna lock it to the to this top piece. Let me just flip this. Once we figured that out, using the cable for the for the mount, because I know it's a normal antenna. You see how these two these two screws right here in the lock the space through that's going to hold it here to the frame of the truck yeah, it looks like we got everything to hook this up I'm going to pull my 
external off of the wall. Okay. These little teeth right here. Once they drop in, then you're ready. And it's just a matter of lining this one up to the tab at the top. And whenever I find another hole, another screw, I'll put the, the rest of them in. All right, so looks like I need to run this out to the outside wire. Be back in a minute. I'm gonna have to figure out about about how the this will probably be behind the. Uh, it'll be zip tied. But I think everything is hooked up. So let's see how this does. Take this to, up to channel 40. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put this on calibrate. Come over here. You see this. You see at the very top it says calibrate and it's yeah. right on. Still first time, that's good. Alright. Check my, my RF. The RF is completely all the way to the end of the green. I don't know. I guess that's good. Break 19, radio check. Probably. We want because we're not really in a roll well, well, there's a little bit of. A little bit of something. Break 19, radio check. You also want to put your lip right on that, that mark. That's how you get the noise canceling. Break for radio check. They can't hear me. Yeah. Well, I think that's that. I just have to put some zip ties down and got them right here. Oh, this, I was going to show how this little trick on this, so I don't get in trouble. There's kind of a door back. like I'm not gonna I, I'm, I'm gonna be okay and just face it backwards because I don't want to do something to this web Let's see if I can loosen this up and get it to stand up right. and let me see if I can still hear it There we go. Mm 
that's pretty good. Shut that off. Okay, thanks for, for stopping in. Um, make sure if you like this video to hit that likes button. Um, so thanks for uh, watching Attack It Trucker and Car Series. And go attack today.